Hello friends, those back pages here. I hope you're well. Got a little mail in, significant mail from my collection. So I figured I'd show it off and share share my knowledge with you guys. So as you know, there's there are a bazillion different ways to collect. A bazillion different players, teams, etc. Things, items, however you want to phrase it to collect. So you know there is room for everyone in the hobby different ways you can collect and still enjoy even though tops continues to pump out extremely overpriced wax five days a week it seems like anyway <laughs> um let's see i will start with only two new cards because like i said it's trying to st to stay focused it's been difficult but I am trying my best and I've I guess again I, I try to pin it down and say hey I'm gonna collect this player that player and this player and that player sure enough something else you know shiny catches my eye and <laughs> I veer off course but you know that's that's the way collecting goes but the the three players i really do have stayed pretty focused on and consistent i guess for at least the last couple of years so uh, bonds pools and ichiro so i saw that you know when the 2024 finest the 2024 finest came out and you know I didn't pay it any mind because it was brand new and as collectors the best thing to do is wait as long as possible you know if the cards not really low numbered you should wait because you know 97 times out of 100 will be cheaper later on but I saw in the 2024 finest they they changed they put X factors in there and they renamed them to uh, checkerboard refractors I don't know if that's because of Panini does the checkerboards with prism I don't know but it's confusing so they do you know the basic X factor a couple different like uh, sky blue blue blah 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 but I noticed that they did not do unfortunately they did not do gold I've shown this one off before from 2003 finest gold X Factor. You can see right there on the flip. These are numbered on the back, machine stamped to 199. And these are the box toppers from 20, 20, 2003 top finest, so 21 years ago. We got one of these gold X Factors with every box you opened. Um, Again, so they're numbered to 199. Here's the pools, which I've shown off. Such nice cards. And if you were paying attention to it a few seconds ago, this is the one I got in. I was able to land the Ichiro. Again, 199 on the back, 28 of 199. Super shiny, just great looking cards. And you know, they don't make them like that anymore. How many times do we see that here on the channel? Plenty. Another thing that, again, these are numbered to 199, one per box. But these cards are 21 years old. So, something that's numbered to 199 from 21 years ago is not the same as something that's numbered to 199 here in the new age and I, I think that's lost on a lot of people especially anyone who's joined in you know in the new age I would say these are probably more like something 199 from then it's more like to 25 now if not more difficult because you know as player collectors it's Especially retired player collectors. It's uh, you know how difficult it can be to find some stuff um, 
So yeah, very happy to add those to the collection to finish the hat trick, the trifecta, however you wanna classify that as. Very, very happy because it's was, I got very fortunate on the bonds and the pools and then I was able to track down an Itra. There were none at the show. But, you know, the, the more difficult stuff you collect, the more the stuff you collect is that is difficult to find, you know that it's, <laughs> it's difficult to find. So here, are stuff that I've shown, I'm going to go over quickly. These were all graded at the show by myself this year. And I think it's important that, that, uh, you know, to, to 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 stay active in the in the hobby, to be you know, continue to add to your collection can can be difficult depending on the the player you collect and their popularity. Can, some players, you know, can be quite expensive. Like I'm, you know, I I consider myself an Otani for modern for current players. I consider myself an Otani collector, judge, and wit. If I had to pick only three, it would be those guys. Uh, some of those guards are not cheap, but one player that's retired now, recently, that I am having great joy trying to track down, <coughs> because let's be honest, a lot of the joy comes from trying to find these guards. And that player is Justin Upton, so here's some rarer cards that I purchased over the last year and then had graded myself at the show. 2010 Bowman Chrome Red Refractor. I was able to, to land two of those. They are numbered to five. So two of five and I think this is five of five, yeah. So if anyone has the other three, hit me up. Raw or otherwise, that's fine. I'll just, uh, if I buy them raw, I mean, I prefer to buy them already graded, but if I buy them raw, I can submit them myself. Here's a 2012 Red Refractor. Again, numbered to five, one of five there on the back. Here's a, my first one of one. from 2013 Topps Mini Platinum. This is the Platinum Edition, unfortunately. At the time of this grading, they were not able to uh, put it in a proper gasket. But, you know, it is a one of one, so it's the only one there is. And it did jam in, so that was nice. It was, uh, you know, again, so did this one, but, you know, it's more about owning the card and having it nice and slabbed up. Here's the, uh, 2020 Topps Chrome Sapphire S CGC 10 Pristine. It's in a baggie though, so I don't know. Maybe it's it's five of five, so maybe it's a little oversized card, but it is. It looks better without the baggie, but what are you gonna do? I mean, it's super shiny. It's a uh, color match, angels red. And, and what I do like a lot about collecting Upton is that, uh, you know, he's a very good baseball player, very good Major League Baseball player. Here's his 2018 Topps Independence Day Gem Mint 10 that I purchased for $2 on Com C and then rated it myself. So yes, he was a very, very, well, he's, he's, I don't know about very good, but he's a good, above average, good to very good Major League Baseball player. Had a long career, played a long time, played a lot of teams. Was the number one pick of the uh, 2006 draft. And he wound up playing with Miguel Cabrera, Albert Pujols, Mike Trout, and Shohei Otani. 
So uh, I don't think a lot of players, you know, of this century were able to play with the four of them together. Well, the four of them, you know, as teammates. Here's his 2018 Topps Chrome Sapphire Red. These are numbered to 10 for some reason. But uh, I'll take it. It's a color match. This created an 8.5. I, I do have another one raw I picked up this fall or this summer post show that I plan on having slabbed at the show next year. So, as I had shown, I think it was in the last video, I had shown, I had picked up my second one of one. This Boris Becker, Papadaccia, one of one from 23 Topps Chrome Sapphire Tennis. So I was browsing eBay and I, I like to, you know, I like to search like everyone else and was searching for uh, Matt Weeders, who I've shown off a few of his sapphires. I, I like that card. You know, I have an 18 red sapphire Weeders, 17 gold sapphire, which is number to five Weeders. So, but lo and behold, this was the I saw this listed, and I couldn't believe it. It is the 2018 Topps Chrome Sapphire Super Fractor. Now. It's even in a 10, look at that. But it's the only one there is, so there's no nine discount because it's the only. Now this has the, the groovy swirls because he was not deemed appropriate to put in Tobbs Chrome that year in 2018, either was Weeders. So if you didn't have a Topps Chrome Super Fractor, they gave you a Super Fractor in Sapphire. Whereas if you had a Topps Chrome Super Fractor in regular Topps Chrome, they gave you the PAP treatment. So, very happy to have this. I, 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 I did not count on seeing it, obviously, and uh, it's, such a, it's just such a beautiful card. I mean, it's... The swirls, the groovy swirls. You get lost in looking in the groovy swirls. Gives it a 3D effect almost in person. And you know I love the 18 design and you know, it's the only one there is. So essentially this is, you know, you know, that's, there's this, the, the red refractor number 10 and then the base card, which I have a couple you know, a couple of raw ones. And that's that's pretty much the rainbow for the 18 Sapphire. Because they did not do gold. They did gold in 16 and 17. They did not do gold in 18 for some reason. And then they brought it back later on. I mean, 19 Sapphire. They <laughs> Lo and behold, you know, they, they left the Sapphire part off if you look at that. If you look at the base cards from the 19 Sapphire, Top Scrum Sapphire set, they are atomic, essentially atomic cards. They're Sapphire without the blue. So somebody goofed, but you know, we're talking about tops here, so that's not all that surprising. 